Can an electric smoker make good barbecue? Let's find out. The first time that I used an electric smoker, I smoked a turkey. And the results blew my mind. The turkey came out fantastic. This got me thinking, is the electric smoker the evolution of barbecue? Originally, barbecue consisted of wood-fired pits creating heat and smoke. Then we moved on to charcoal because that was more easy to control and, well, smaller in volume, smaller barbecues. Then we went to pellet barbecues because we could control them more easy. And now we're here with electric smokers. And I wonder if this is the end stage of the evolution of barbecue. I'm going to test this electric smoker and find out if it has everything you need for the final step of the evolution of barbecue. To do a proper test, I selected three classic barbecue recipes. Of course, first, the smoked sausage, then the barbecue chicken, and finally, the biggest thing of all, smoked Texas beef ribs. This is such an electric smoker. It doesn't look like a smoker in the traditional sense at all. And that's because it works differently to how a traditional smoker should work. If you take a look inside, we've got a lot of food surface and I absolutely love that. Look at these big trays that sit in the smoker and how many trays we actually have. So the volume of this thing is insane. You can fit up to 50 kilograms of pulled pork in here. And on the bottom, you can see a heat deflector. And if I take that out, I'm exposing the heart of the operation. We got a heat element in the back and this allows you to control the temperature in the smoker. In the front, there's a smoking element and this is generating the smoke. These are two separate elements, but together they turn this into a highly capable smoking machine. On the outside, you find the controller. This allows you to control the temperature very, very precise. And this is the smoker box. This stores all the smoke wood you're gonna need for long smoking sessions. And like with any smoker, you're gonna need a bottom vent and a top vent. And that's basically it. It's super simple. Here's the first test, the sausage. And that's an easy one. I'm just gonna put them on this rack that comes with the Boniac smoker, slide them into the smoker, which is already set to temperature and to smoke. And once they're in, I'm gonna make a killer barbecue sauce to go with the sausage. I'm gonna take half a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of whiskey, one tablespoon of ketchup mayonnaise, otherwise known as sweet soy sauce, one tablespoon of Worcester sauce, one teaspoon of Tabasco, and half a tablespoon of yellow mustard. Now heat that up, give it a good stir, and it should look like this. These sausages got the real barbecue sausage look. They look really tasty, so let's give them a try. Oh. Mm. Mm. These sausages are the real deal, because barbecue sausages gotta have that pop. Once you bite into them, you gotta feel that snap of the casing of the sausage. And of course, you're looking for that juice in it. The fat inside the sausage really has to be rendered down and has to be completely juicy. And last but not least, we wanna have that smoke flavor. If the smoke flavor is not there, it's not a barbecue sausage. And this sausage just nailed it. Time for the second test, the chicken. And I'm gonna start with my favorite chicken rub, consisting of one part salt, one part paprika powder, one part onion powder, a quarter part garlic, a quarter part turmeric, a quarter part chili flakes, and one part dried parsley. Now mix that all up, sprinkle it onto the chicken legs, put the chicken legs on a smoking tray, slide it into the Borniac smoker, and once the outside of the chicken starts drying up, we're gonna do something magical. This is called a Radler. Basically, it's a non-alcoholic beer with a lemon flavor. This is gonna make our chicken extra sweet and give it a little bit of a lemon twist. I'm gonna spray it on every 10 minutes or so or when the chicken turns dry, just to make sure we get plenty of it on there. <laughs> oh, I just think we hit the chicken jackpot. Look at that skin, it turned completely crispy. Of course, I let it face down towards the heat, making sure that it captured the juices and at the same time dried out and turned crispy. And the color is insane. <laughs> <laughs> 
If I'm looking for a barbecue chicken, this is what I'm looking for. I got smoke flavor, I got a crispy skin, and it's juicy on the inside. Of course, I added the barbecue flavors myself, but the smoker did the rest, and that's what I need. You can be a good pit master, but if you got a crappy pit, it's gonna be a lot tougher to do. This is the final test, the boss of end bosses. I'm talking about Wagyu beef ribs. Once I got them trimmed up, I'm gonna make a good steak rub. Consisting of one part salt, one part ground pepper, a quarter part onion powder, and an eighth part garlic powder. I'm gonna make sure I get that rub everywhere. Then I'm putting my beef ribs in the Borniac smoker, set it to 120 degrees Celsius until my ribs hit a core temperature of 94 degrees Celsius. Then I'll pull them out and I'll let them rest for at least 20 minutes. <laughs> These beef ribs are mind blowing. Granted, they're Wagyu beef ribs, but they are top notch Wagyu beef ribs. We got smoke ring, we got bark, we got juiciness, and everything is cooked to perfection. We got that bark that we're looking for, and it's dry on the outside, but it doesn't lose its juiciness. It's giving us a little bit of crunch, and that pepper flavor is really coming through. The inside's nice and juicy, and the fat's been rendered out perfectly. It makes these beef ribs absolutely tender without falling apart. And don't get me started about that smoke ring. It's the absolute perfect smoke ring. We got a half a centimeter thick ring throughout the beef ribs. Absolutely perfect. To figure out if an electric smoker could actually be considered to be a real smoker. Because it doesn't take wood, it doesn't take charcoal, it doesn't take pellets. Can you actually consider it to be a smoker? And I say, I proved it. This thing is absolutely smoker material. This thing made beef ribs that look better than most competition beef ribs I've ever seen. It tasted better than any competition beef ribs I ever had. As a matter of fact, it tasted better than any beef ribs I made myself. And I'm not even talking about the chicken or the sausages. Both turned out crazy juicy. And the reason that they're so juicy is because I got ultimate control over the temperature. We got cold winds coming in today. The smoker is not affected by it. It's just going steadily, keeping temperature within a degree range of the desired temperature. And things that really stand out to me while I was cooking on this smoker is, first of all, the price. Seriously, this thing is a thousand euros, so this is quite pricey, but it's not as pricey as other smokers. If you really start comparing it with high-end smokers, it's actually pretty cheap. The second thing what stands out is the fat that renders down from the meat drips down, is catched, and it doesn't come anywhere near the heat element. So is this the real evolution of smoking? And I think it is. I think this smoker is the real evolution of barbecue. It's the next step. It's like the electric car. It's here, and it's here to stay, and we better get used to it. And personally, I enjoy it a lot. So I'm gonna dance with my little lady here, and uh, she's excited about the barbecue, and I hope you are. And if you are, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below, of course. And if you got a dog, I wanna know, who's your doggy? What's his name? What animal is it? And is he crazy like mine? <laughs>